Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ichimoku Cloud and how we can use it to trade crypto on the daily chart. We're going to start with Bitcoin. And the first thing you have to do to actually test this thing out is add the indicator to your chart. After you add it, then you change the settings to 20, 60, 120, and 30. After you do that, then you're ready to go, right? This is the daily on Bitcoin. So the main idea is that we're going to use the Tenkan and Kijun, which are the blue line is Tenkan and Kijun, the red line. We're going to use them as a moving average crossover strategy. So if the Tenkan crosses over the Kijun, then we get a bullish signal. And the other way around, if the, if the Tenkan closes below the Kijun, then it's a bearish sign. And we're gonna also use the cloud, the cloud edges as bottom or tops, right? Support or resistances, depending on where the price is coming from. So let's say you're, you know, you you're not trading Bitcoin and you suddenly want to get in. You want to trade. You put the, the cloud. You're ready to go. Let's say you're here. You can buy as soon as the the price goes above ten can, right? And then set a stop loss below below the last week so let's say you're getting here right you're getting here you put a stop below now the problem the first take profit could be the bottom of the cloud or the top of the cloud you could try that right you could also try a trailing stop the problem with the Ichimoku cloud is that when prices rises too fast or go down a lot it won't be able to help you determine a top or the bottom. So in the next video we're gonna combine the Ichimoku cloud with the RSI in order to actually try to find double tops or bottoms and then see how, how the cloud can help us. The cloud can also be used to, to short, right? So as you see here, right, the cloud's bottom worked perfectly as a as the top. This was September 2018, right? So you could show it here put a stuff above and then you know just go to sleep forget about it and you will have made ton of money out of, out of that single trade right and then to get in right you can use the TK cross so we initially get the TK cross here Tenkan over Kijun and then we also have the confluence with the bottom of the cloud so you will have bought Bitcoin here at the bottom of the cloud in February 26 and then you know set a stop loss below right so you buy here set the stop loss below that wick or below the key doom the well let's say this wick right and that's about it you let it ride you could have sold the top of the cloud but coming from this drop you could assume that it will do better right so let's say it does better whatever you can just keep moving your stop loss below the key June, right? And then you will get stopped out, well, here, basically. So you will have wrote this price movement with just using this single indicator, right? Say so you put your stop loss below the key June, and then you will have fought, you will have sold here, which is at 177.86%. Obviously, you know, this requires a lot of patience and discipline, but it's a great indicator if you can master the psychology. As you see here, the cloud also works again. The top becomes the resistance. We break the top and then we test it as support. Or we test the bottom and we test, it, we test the bottom as support. The cloud stop work as resistance, right? You can, we see, we test. First, we also have the bearish TK cross here, right? So you could have sold here too which will you put you at 11,962, right? It's a great indicator. And that's about it. We, we will have to wait, right, to for more data to actually see what we will do using the cloud only, right? So basically that's it. That's everything you need to know about the cloud to actually trade crypto. Hopefully you can enjoy this video. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or in the chat that we currently have. See you.